I'm going to tell you about the five things that save us money in our bathroom. And we save a lot of money every month by doing or using these five things. Hey guys, it's Wendy Valencia. So you all loved my five things that I do in the kitchen that save us $687 a month. And it's actually $687. I did the math in the video. And if you haven't checked out that video, I'll put it up in the eye in the sky up here so you can watch that. Today, I am going over the five things that save us almost $250 every month in the bathroom. I'm not even joking. I will show you the math behind that number. So let's jump in. The first thing that I'm gonna tell you about has to do with my conditioner. Now, I like expensive conditioner. Because I color my hair so much, my hair gets really bad. You can actually see here. Look, I'll show you how bad. So over the course of time, my hair gets really, really, really dry. And it's because I color my hair every four weeks. So I spend a lot of money on conditioner, usually color sensitive conditioners or, or purple conditioners to take out the brassiness. Please don't judge my hair right now because it's bright yellow. I am going to be coloring it tonight. But I can go through a bottle of conditioner in a month easily sometimes two bottles if it's a small bottle. So what I do is I buy a big bottle of conditioner and I take a little bit out to use the first time and then I put some water in it. And I do that until I get about 50% water and 50% conditioner. And this causes my conditioner to last almost two entire months. By doing that, I save $20 a month because each bottle of my conditioner is about $20. I told you it was expensive. The second thing I do saves me about, I'd say about $30 a month. So I use Dior mascara. I have used it for years and I absolutely love it. And it isn't cheap at all. And after about four to six weeks, it gets starts getting dry. And when it gets dry, it becomes clumpy when you put it on. So normally I, when I get to that point, I would get annoyed and buy a new thing of mascara, but I don't do that anymore. So some people try and extend the life of their mascara by putting maybe saline solution or water or something else into the mascara tube. And I have tried that, but it doesn't work very well. What I have found works the best, and I am not exaggerating when I tell you this will extend the life of my mascara about four months. Turn on the water faucet, and I heat the water to absolutely the hottest setting it will go, and then I put it in a glass, and as I am starting to get ready and put my makeup on, I stick that mascara in that super hot water, and it heats up the mascara and melts it and it makes it go on smooth and beautiful with no clumps whatsoever. It's amazing. The next thing is not really specific to the bathroom, but because I, for the most part, buy most of my bathroom products this way, I will tell you it works. In our household, my mother has an auto ship, and so any household products that we get, for me, it's mostly conditioners and bathroom, dental supplies, whatever we need, we buy them on Amazon, subscribe and save. And that saves us 15%. If you buy over five items every month, you can save 15%. So we will go out of our way to buy five items to save that 15%. And we're talking about things that I use anyway, that I'd be going to the grocery store. And if I need a fourth or a fifth item, I'll buy something like gum because it counts just to save that 15%. So like that $20 conditioner that I buy is actually not $20 conditioner, it's $24 conditioner. But after my discount, it's right around $20. If you don't use subscribe and save and you're an Amazon shopper like I am, I highly, highly, highly recommend it. So that Amazon auto ship saves us anywhere from five to $10 every month, sometimes more, sometimes less. It depends on how many things we have in there and what we're buying any particular month. But we'll just say it saves us $10. So the fourth thing that I do that saves us more than $250 every month is 
I've already alluded to it. I color my own hair. Now, I realize today is not a stellar example of what my hair looks like. I am actually coloring it tomorrow because see, I got some serious roots going on and it's quite brassy right now. But I have been coloring my hair for about two and a half years. And I historically would go to the hairdresser once a month for a full hair color. And that typically costs around $180. And I'm gonna use the $180 because that's how much it cost me the last time I went to the salon to get some corrective color. And although the hairdresser that I went to before actually cost around $270. But we'll, for the purposes of this, we will say it costs $180 because I can get my hair fully done for $180. But the first couple of times I colored it by my, um, myself, it's actually Mauricio that colors it. I was a little nervous. I will admit, I was a lot nervous. The way I figured it is if I screwed it up so badly, I could just put on a hat, make a hair appointment, and pay somebody to fix it. It wasn't that bad the first couple of times. And we've learned over the years, like I've learned to figure out when it's really brassy and and when I need to do a toner. Mauricio is like a full on hairdresser. The fifth thing that I use in the bathroom to save us more than $250 a month is something that was actually recommended by one of you. I didn't know this thing existed and when they pointed it out to me, I immediately bought one. It's called a Crea Clip, okay? This is used on my daughter's bangs. And I am not kidding you, this saves us about $20 a month because that's what it costs to get her bangs trimmed here. And basically all you do, it's got teeth in it, see this? You close it up, unlock it, you position this little bubble right here between the lines to make sure it's level, and you clip underneath. So, like this. And then you go, and you can do it at an angle if you wanted to do it like that, around your face. I am not kidding you, this was a game changer for us. I love this thing and I'll put a link to it down in the description box if you want to check it out. They are spendy, I will tell you, but we paid for it in like two months of doing this and we haven't taken Melina to get her hair cut in a long time and her hair always looks adorable. I am trying right now to convince Mauricio to start using this on my hair because I'm nervous about doing it on my own hair, but... I am, I'm in the process of negotiations for that. So yes, right there, you can see $250 that we are saving every month, not even exaggerating. So I'll see you in the next one. See ya, we're out.